Hi, welcome to Listen with John. Uh, today we're going to try Rocky Raccoon on the guitar. Okay, what you're going to need, you're going to need some chords. Let's see, the intro, let's work on the intro first. Fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret, and your pinky goes on the first string, third fret. That's an A minor 7. He's muting the sixth string, I don't think he's playing it. And what we're going to do is our strum today is going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So, so just like that. He does it four times as an intro or four patterns, you know, so it's like. Then he starts, uh, he starts in with the verse. Okay. So there's your A minor 7. The nice thing about this song, now that the intro is out of the way, it follows the same pattern for basically the whole song. Uh, the last line of the song I'm going to change, show you how you can change it to make it like a nice country ending there. Uh, but other than that, and you don't have to do that, you could just end it on a C chord. Um, uh, it's the same pattern for the whole song, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, so when the words start in here, uh, well when, they, when it starts, the verse, it's A minor 7 again, uh, two patterns, so... Then it goes to the D7, sus4, and all he does, all you really do is you still got the chord down, you move your middle finger from the 4th string to the 3rd string 2nd fret, and that's a D7, sus4. And you're only going to do one pattern on that, one strumming pattern. Um, so let's go over the chord in case you didn't catch it. Uh, third string, second fret, second string, first fret, and first string, uh, your pinky still on the first string, third fret. And you do one pattern, and then all you have to do is go to a D7 chord, so you just put your third finger on the first string, second fret, and lift up the pinky. And you do one strum pattern on that. So. Nice and easy. So the D7 was the 3rd string 2nd fret and the 1st string 2nd fret, 2nd string 1st fret. Your next chord is G7, 1st uh, string 1st fret and the 5th string 2nd fret and then the 6th string 3rd fret. We're going to do two patterns on that one. So down, 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 down. Okay? If you have trouble, just say it out loud. It really helps. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I know it'll be silly. You could say it in your head if you have to, if there's people around watching you. But um, saying it really makes it really work for your hands. Gets your hands and your brain a chance to get together and do their thing. Okay, now we have a C chord. Um, we're going to do the 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, and then the 2nd string, 1st fret, just like our regular C chord. But uh, what Paul does, I, I suspect Paul's playing, I don't know. Um, uh, maybe it's George, who knows. Uh, he's going to put his pinky on the 1st string, 3rd fret for this C chord. So he gets that. So it's, it's the only, well, I guess there's a couple chords he doesn't play, but he's going to get that on top for this, so... He's only going to do one pattern on that C chord. And then our favorite part of the song is when he puts the C chord with the B underneath in the bass. So C slash B means that he puts a B underneath a C. So he lets go of the fifth string uh, for the moment, and then he puts his middle finger over onto the fifth string second fret, and he leans over and he mutes the fourth string do one pattern on that. So that ends up being the 5th string 2nd fret, 2nd string 1st fret, and your pinky's still on the 1st string 3rd fret. Okay? So A minor 7 twice, D7 sus4 once, to a D7 once, G7 twice, C chord with the pinky down, C with the B in the bass, and then you start all over again. So 
So it's really nice because you can leave these two fingers down for a lot of the first two strings. Uh, you get your A minor 7s on the 4th string 2nd fret. Then you just move your middle finger over. Then you put your finger down on the 2nd fret of the 1st string. Then you have to switch over to the G7 unfortunately. And then you use that same kind of shape for the C and you put the pinky back down. Put the B in the bass and then just move it right over to the 4th string 2nd fret to start all over again. So it's cool. Um, pretty easy song. Uh, it just does that same pattern for the whole song. Okay? Any questions? Comments? Below? Please subscribe. I was going to show you an ending. Alright, so the last time you play it, you could do this. Uh, let me fast forward to the end. Uh, you got a C chord. Now, you know, I might do my C chord at the end, like, without the pinky down. Why not? Break some rules. So uh, just a regular C chord is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go one pattern, and I'm going to hit it with a big downstroke at the end. So just like that. So down, 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 down. And then I do it with a G7, and then back to C. So that, let me, uh, I'll back up and do one pattern through the whole, well, the whole song pattern. Uh, the last line in the song is what I'm saying. <laughs> So A minor 7. There's your ending if you want it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, see you next time.